New details tonight on the battle over Airbnb that's been simmering in South Florida has a lot to do with money as well as who can legally rent out their home to a tourist. CBS 4's Gary Nelson explains how this battle just took a new turn complete with an airplane banner. At Miami City Hall, some 50 Airbnb operators pushed back against efforts in Miami and Miami Beach to outlaw the vacation rentals in non-commercial areas. A school teacher said she couldn't get by without her Airbnb income. It helps me to sustain myself to be able to live in this great city that I love, I love, and that I've dedicated my life to. While Airbnbers were demanding the right to operate, the beach's mayor and Miami's mayor were bashing them. Any commercial intrusion in the residential single family homes is illegal. The beach's mayor says he loves Airbnbs in business districts, not people's backyards. We've tightened up our laws and we just want to make sure we maintain the quality of life of the residents that live in Miami Beach. Some homeowners said Airbnbs have turned quiet streets into party towns. There's a lot of abuse and it puts a strain on the neighborhood. Over it all, a banner plane flew accusing Levine and Regalado of selling out to hotel and tourism interests. Ironically, this weekend, Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez struck a deal with Airbnb to pay the county a 6% bed tax. Mayor Jimenez's deal with Airbnb is strictly financial. They pay Miami-Dade County government and the cities continue to be in charge of their own zoning. So cities have the right to support Airbnb or outlaw them. Miami-Dade's property appraiser, though, has threatened to revoke the homestead exemptions of Airbnb homeowners. The company cries foul. The fact that they're not going after anyone else who may take on a border in their house, solely going after Airbnb, is probably going to make this unconstitutional. Airbnb, the rooms and houses for rent equivalent of the Uber battle, but the vacation rental fight promises to be a battle royale. Now, Airbnb says it has reached agreements with more than half of Florida's counties, but you have to remember within each county are multiple jurisdictions and each of those municipalities will involve a fight of their own. We're in Miami, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.